Chris here, Keystone Lawn and Tree Care in Spokane, Washington. Today, we have Vitaly back with us from Green Line Services, and we had a theft, and it sucks, you know, when you're first getting started and somebody steals from you, it's a really big deal, and it, it just happens. It's happened to me, it's happened to Vitaly. Multiple times. Yeah, we yep. were lamenting about this earlier. <laughs> it just sucks, and it's something you're gonna have to deal with. So, you know, as you know, with these videos, we talk about things that, that uh, maybe, you're struggling with when you're first getting started mm -hmm. and how we can help and that's really our main goal of making these videos is how can yep. we help you guys be successful and not make the same mistakes that we did so uh vitali why sure. don't you tell us a little bit about theft and you know what your experience was with it yeah when i first started out i didn't think uh, i didn't even think of this being an issue but over time it has you know had its uh um, yearly moments where uh, it usually happens once twice a year something goes missing um, and there's two types of theft that I found. Um, the first one would be employee theft. And if you do have employees, uh, make sure that whoever you hire on is uh, trustworthy and honest. Now, do you do background checks when you hire people or drug screening? Um, I probably should, but at this point I, I deal with people that I kind of know okay. and friends of friends. Sure. So it's, it's kind of like a small group, uh, slightly expanded. I don't really, you know, draw in too many people from the outside public. Um, you know, so it's usually referrals, mm. you know, um, and I tend to hire guys that are, uh, college age, coming out of high school, kind of younger, um, you know, looking to work, looking for their first job, um, or have some experience and they're looking to, you know, cause we do pay more than McDonald's for example. Sure. And so guys are like, Hey, I like to make some more money. I like being outside. And so we'll pay them more and we'll have them, uh, work with us, uh, outdoors. So what was, uh, give me a story, say from the last couple of years where somebody did, you did have some theft. Yeah. It was kind of a bummer. Yeah. So we have employee theft, uh, which is when your employee steals from you. And then we also have what I call the general public theft, hmm. which is, you know, hey, I was uh, working at a house, uh, corner lot. The trailer was on one side. I was around the corner mowing. And you... A blower walks off. Yeah. A neighbor comes out running saying, hey, hey, somebody just uh, uh, took something from your trailer. And, and by the time I stopped the machine, talked with the neighbor, drove over to the other side around the corner, the green pickup truck is already long gone. It's it's five blocks away. Yeah. I've had, up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've had that same thing. You know, you put a hand blower down next to the truck maybe and, it, and you walk into the backyard yeah. and then you come back out front and it's gone. Yeah, so general public theft. So yeah. these guys are opportunists. They drive by. They, uh, the lady said, you know, this truck circled around once or twice. And then he, you know, so it was basically a grab and dash. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, and so, you know, lost that $500 backpack blower. Yeah, so maybe make that a lesson. Don't make the same mistake we did. Maybe keep those valuable small hand tools in the mm -hmm. truck or maybe in the back of the trailer or however you're going to secure it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, secure. Uh, there are trimmer racks. Uh, I'm actually looking to uh, buy another one that yeah. will secure your that backpack blower. Lock. Yeah, yeah. they'll yeah. lock. We, we can make another video on the locking ones. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then I also, on my trucks, I run a canopy that has locking doors. And so I will keep anything that can disappear, like backpack blowers or blowers or anything that's, you know, two to yeah. $500. I'll keep in the back of the truck with the canopy doors closed. It's out of sight. Yeah. They can't see it. They just move on. Yeah, and I have a real similar thing. I have a box. I have a cage on the front of my trailer that flips up and then it flips down. And, it, you, of course, you can padlock Lock it. it. Yeah. yeah. So if I go into McDonald's or something for lunch, I can put the hand tools or hand blower into that space and then yeah. lock it. Especially when you're starting out, you may not have you know a whole lot of money to lose. And so whatever you buy, you don't want to lose to yeah. theft. And so you want to think about you know how can I secure this? How can I prevent theft with yeah. this blower Let's say the general public again what this yeah this section is general public. yeah it's the general public yeah. uh people that just steal from you steal from people that are out there working for a living yeah and so that's unfortunate that it happens uh wish it didn't but you know every year i'll have something go missing and sometimes i'll see the person driving off sometimes i won't it's just yeah. a grab and dash now another kind of theft is employee theft and i Boy, I find that, that's yeah. really personal for me, especially when you're first getting started. Maybe you only have one or two guys, and maybe you have a friend of a friend of a friend that started working for you. You don't know them real well, but you yeah. know you trust them enough. Sure. So, and oftentimes, maybe it might even be in your own house or in your own garage or in your own property. You know, you have these friends of friends come over to help you, and you think you know them, and then what happens? Yeah, they they, they still they'll, they'll walk off with something, and 
Oftentimes, you won't even notice it until much later. For example, I had a story. I had a guy, again, a friend of a friend. I really trusted him. He came over to my place. You know, he kind of knew the shop. And uh, he, he, and then he left suddenly. I think he had a drug problem and he left. And later, I found I have these small uh, snow blowers here underneath. the. But I don't use these snow blowers, of course, in the summer. Yeah. And that, I come to the wintertime and I look for my snowblowers. I'm like, hey, one of them's missing. And how oh. could I have missed the snowblower missing in yeah. the middle of the summer? But, you know, I did. And same thing happened with like a chainsaw. Mm -hmm. A chainsaw walked off. And again, I don't use my chainsaws every day. So I didn't notice that the blower and the chainsaw were missing for yeah. months. And by then, of course, the guy's long gone. And I knew Dude. it. I knew it was him. I just knew it. Yeah, I, I've had that happen usually uh, once, twice a year. Um, you know, a new hire. You know, work works a couple of weeks, sees my equipment, sees my layout, and then you know I've I've seen him uh, one time. The, the guy was run off with my chainsaw and got in his van, and you yeah. know, uh, you know, so it's uh, you don't know who you hire on. Things do go missing, and uh, when it comes to employees, it's kind of uh, I mean, it just it's sad. Yeah, and even know? with even if you are running background checks or drug testing. They don't pick up that common doesn't, It doesn't prevent. Yeah, it doesn't prevent a theft. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really hard, especially when you're first getting started, you take it so personally because maybe you only have one part-time helper or maybe just a couple of guys that help out. Yeah. And it's so personal. I remember getting so angry and I just wanted to kill the guy. I was so mad. But again, from the from the other guy's point of view, it's just some business. He doesn't care about you. And yeah, it's just some business. True. He's he's stealing from Walmart or something, you know, but yeah. we're not a billion dollar no, Walmart industry, you know, when a $500 backpack blower goes missing, it really hurts personally. But sure. Don't take it personally because that guy who stole from you certainly doesn't. Yeah. And when you're first starting out, that may be the only piece of equipment. I mean, if you only have one blower and your helper takes that or it gets stolen, I mean, you're down. Yeah. Uh, you got to go buy a new, another one, you know, a brand new one. And you're out of money right there. If you don't have the extra cash, it's, you got to put on the credit card. Yeah. You know, so now I run two or three of everything, always have a backup back at my shop. And so something goes missing, something breaks. I always have something. I'm not down and out. Um, you know, and by this time, after a few years in, I've built up my credit where I can go and buy one and it won't hurt me. Yeah. So just be prepared for, uh, potential theft it may yeah. not happen the first year or the second year but hey it could strike anytime anywhere yeah yeah theft sucks and it happens to big companies small companies you know it just unfortunately it feels more personal yeah. when <laughs> when we get stolen from. sure so you know again if you guys are getting anything out of these videos we really want you to hit the old like button hit the thumbs up you know comment below share it with your friends and subscribe because again we're, we're trying to bring some tips to you guys out there and if you're getting anything out of these tips and tricks please leave a comment below and let us know what you think and you know so we can keep making these kind of videos absolutely <clears throat> yeah there's a lot to learn out there and we're just going to pass on what we've learned to you yeah and we're going to keep this up you know we're going to keep making little short episodes like this you know well we've been just talking for five ten minutes just having yeah. a nice time you know and this subject happens to be theft maybe we'll uh, we'll wrap things up here and we'll talk about something else next. Yep. There's uh, plenty more to uh, talk about and just to pass on our knowledge to you. Absolutely. So stay tuned.